Well, it's been almost three years since the 2016 election. Collectively, the Democratic Party still hasn't moved on or gotten over it. But nobody is trapped in emotional amber like Hillary Clinton. Every day for her is November 8th, 2016. She's already spent years counting the different excuses for why she lost, but yesterday she went even farther than that. On CBS Sunday Morning, which is a great show, she just polluted it, honestly, she claimed that the election was stolen from her. It was stolen! She didn't say who the thief was. So we asked Lisa Booth, the senior fellow in Better Woman's Voice, to come on and identify who stole that election from Hillary Clinton. I, I guess she's out of the woods now. But yeah, so for Tucker, I want to play the clip from the show yesterday for your viewers at home. Watch this. I believe he knows he's an illegitimate president. He knows. He knows that there were a bunch of different reasons why the election turned out the way it did. It was like applying for a job and getting 66 million letters of uh, recommendation and losing to a corrupt human tornado. There were many funny things that happened in my election that will not happen again. And I'm hoping that both the public and the press understand the way that Trump plays this game. Well, and Tucker, she didn't just say that. She also called for President Trump's impeachment. Listen to this. Given this latest revelation, which is such a blatant effort to use his presidential position to advance his personal and political interests, there should be an impeachment inquiry opened. Well, and so what I want to do is pull up a tweet from Hillary Clinton from October of 2016. Here she says Donald Trump refused to say that he'd respect the results of this election by doing that He's threatening our democracy. And what I find infuriating about what she said there, are she, Democrats are the ones who are threatening our democracy by casting doubt on the legitimacy of President Trump. They are the ones who are undermining our faith in institutions, particularly the electoral process. And remember, it was Democrats, Nancy Pelosi's daughter, who was leading the charge in 2016, encouraging faithless electors. It has been Democrats who boycotted President Trump's inauguration, saying that he was not a legitimate president, saying that he was a Russian stooge. We've been lied to about the Russia collusion narrative. And now Democrats want to move forward with an impeachment process appending the 2016 election and 63 million Americans vote. So they are the ones that are threatening our democracy. What's so weird is Hillary Clinton had the election stolen from her. That's the official position of the Democratic Party. And yet they're not anxious to restore her rightful title as president by making her the front runner this time. It's a little bit straight, you know, right? So she had it stolen from her, but we don't want her to run again? I don't, how, what's the reasoning there? Do you have any idea? Well, I guess they've learned their lesson that she is a, a terrible candidate and obviously oh, didn't get the oh, job they don't really believe it. Oh, okay. But there's another serious aspect to this, Tucker. Is it, uh -huh. We've heard Democrats in this talk about how President Trump was trying to solicit the Ukrainians' help with 2020, but they are the ones who are doing the very thing that they accused President Trump of. There's been documented evidence of Democrats yeah. in 2016 soliciting the help of the Ukrainians with Paul Manafort. Also, Hillary Clinton is the one who paid Christopher Steele uh, for the opposition research, which included sources that were connected to the Kremlin and, and Kremlin Just... officials. So they are completely full of it. it if, if our viewers knew what those of us who live in the District of Columbia know, which is that a huge percentage of our foreign policy decisions are influenced by foreign governments. I mean, it's, it's actually disgusting. And for these people to be lecturing us, oh, you know, right. foreign interference, yeah, it's like, okay. Which there, it's there too disingenuous be, for me, I have to say Which that. there should absolutely be reform on the Foreign oh. uh, Registration oh. Act. It would be so many people in D.C. Oh, yeah. would Let's be send so some people trouble. to prison. I'm totally for that. That's exactly right. Lisa Booth, great to see you. Thank you. Thank you, Tucker.